Welcome to Planet Earth. We are growers of tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. And I'm Rob James, I'm the technical director here, and I look after quality, food safety, innovation, and also our sustainability. Now this business was conceived back in 2005, and we actually started operating in 2009. And the aim was to bring some of the scale and technology of, of perhaps the world's leading greenhouse sector which are based in Holland, here to the UK so we can grow more salad vegetables for the UK market at home. We started with three greenhouses, one for each crop, and now we've grown to six. One pepper greenhouse, two cucumber cumber greenhouses, and three tomato greenhouses. So we're really pleased to be able to show you around today and explain a little bit more about how we grow our tomatoes that you will find on the supermarket shelves. We're now standing outside one of our three tomato greenhouses. However, we can't actually take everybody inside because we have very high levels of biosecurity. We'll go inside with, with a phone and take some footage so you can see what happens in there, what it looks like. But I'll try and explain a little bit more about how we grow from outside. But the reason we can't go in is plants like people can get viruses and there's a particular plant virus that have, uh, that's affecting tomato crops around the world now that that's causes quite significant yield loss and impact on quality. We're quite unique as a grower in the UK. We grow our tomatoes year round. Um, we do things on what we call interplants. We have one crop finishing and then we start a, a new crop within it. So we don't actually stop production. So we're producing British tomatoes right through the winter. And the purpose of that is not about producing British tomatoes. This is about producing the same quality premium tomatoes that we have in summer and the winter. Because what happens is when we go abroad to bring tomatoes in from Spain or Morocco, they're grown in a different way. They have different climate challenges. They're growing into winter, shorter day lengths. The greenhouses are less high tech. So the flavor of the product is very different and we're seeing more and more availability issues as we, we hit climate change. As it grows, we'll twist the tomato and we lower it so that the harvest height is always at eye level to make it easier for the, for the pickers to pick the fruit. You'll see that yellow strip in there, that's, uh, that's to attract pests like a white, for tomatoes, it's white fly. So again, we're trapping it attracting it to the colour and, and then not having to spray. And then f higher up in the greenhouse you're starting to see those square boxes and that is our lights. So we're using, on the back of the energy crisis, we've switched into all LED lights. So they're pink, which is quite uh, quite unusual. But we also have, have light screens, so at night time we can shut the curtains effectively and keep the light in. And we also grow and use our lights around the energy market. So when electricity is high value, we can export it. So at four o'clock in the afternoon, we'll turn our lights off and then turn them back on at 11 o'clock when there's less demand for electricity. You know, wind turbines can still be very, you know, be, be, be turning and generating a lot less electricity, but there's just less, less demand on the grid. So we can use it then. The greenhouses are designed to let as much light in. It's a big pane size. All the uprights are painted white. And we even do things like we'll, we'll clean the top of the glass every six weeks to keep it clean. So we'll have an automatic washer that goes across all the greenhouses, just washing those win windows to make sure all that light can get in onto the plant. So that's the level of detail we, we need to work to, to really optimise our production through these type of facilities. We roughly reckon we'll, we'll grow around 450 million tomatoes in a year. In this pack house we mainly process the top quality vine tomatoes that we grow here on site. So we've got six uh, tomato production lines dealing with just vine tomatoes. So the vine tomatoes are picked into crates in the, in the greenhouse and then uh, they're placed into uh, packages by our, our colleagues uh, on the lines. Uh, so we're looking for the best quality, colour and we're removing any splits or anything that would uh, not meet our customer specification. The punnets will go down the line, they're either heat sealed or flow wrapped and uh, yeah, placed into the retail crates uh, 
and tomorrow they'll be in the stores. You'll see behind me the reservoir for this tomato greenhouse and the grey pipes that are feeding into it. Now when it rains we can capture a lot of water. There's a, that greenhouse is 10 hectares, so that's 10 hectares of surface area we have to collect and we've just, we have a specially designed gutter system that doesn't waste any, allows all that volume to come off that roof and into that reservoir. So that is stored there until we need it. So it's then taken in, mixed with the fertiliser, mixed with recycled water that we've captured from, uh, from the plants and the condensation, and then that's pumped into, into or given to the plants every day and it's, it's computer controlled. It's based on how much the plant needs on that day. So the more sunlight, the more water it needs. And also depending on its, on its growth stage. So we're really careful to look after water and to give the, but still give the plant everything it needs. One thing about working in this the fresh produce industry is no, no days are the same. It's always changing. It's always challenging, we have to do things differently. You've got to find out when there's challenges around uh, pest and disease issues or weather challenges or customers want different products. There's, there's always lots to do and lots to learn. Um, plus, we, we're doing something really valuable. We are growing food, we are feeding the nation. You know, in the UK, we still import over 80% of what we eat as tomatoes. So there's a great opportunity for us as growers to produce more British food, especially in a world where we're seeing climate change, we're seeing importance of food resilience being, being, more, being held in higher regard. So yeah, it, it's, it's just a, yeah, it's a, great, it's a great thing to be involved with. Well, I hope you find that interesting and, and enjoyed it. I hope you now understand a little bit more that goes on behind the scenes, producing those tomatoes that you eat and I hope you equally find the other uh, stories or pieces on what other growers do to get their food, grow their food on the Follow a Farmer website.